Like most things on Earth, the future of coffee is uncertain. And with growing, cultivating, and processing becoming more difficult and expensive, things are headed in the wrong direction. Thankfully, those with bigger brains than I are looking for answers to keep our beloved beverage not only available and affordable, but also more adaptable to our changing environment. But beyond that, there's another angle, and this is where Atomo Coffee enters the chat. Now there's a common phrase that if it looks like a duck, swims like a duck, and quacks like a duck, then it's probably a duck. But does that same mentality translate to coffee? Well, that's something we're going to be taking a closer look at today by tasting and talking about Atomo's reverse engineered, allegedly more sustainable and upcycled coffee. But first, a quick word from this video's sponsor, Stand Art Magazine. Coffee is global, but during the last year or so, it's felt a lot smaller. Confined to Zoom meetings and screens, I was starving for a different kind of experience to make me feel less disconnected. And Stand Art Magazine has filled that role and given me not only a beautifully designed, illustrated, and written way to stay in touch with global coffee culture and news, but also samples from some of the best roasters on the planet. It's truly a winning combination. Plus, it helps support the channel. So head over to standartmag.com Prometheus, or hit the Stand Art link in the description below to snag your year subscription of coffee and culture shipped direct to your door nearly anywhere in the world with a money-back guarantee. Atomo began with a Kickstarter campaign in 2019 and is culminating with their first public release just a couple weeks ago. Over that time, they've raised nearly 12 million in funding and spent the last couple of years in research and development. As you may know, coffee is a very complicated organism, and there are hundreds of volatile and non-volatile compounds that create the smell, taste, texture, color, and caffeine we all know and love about coffee. So according to Atomo, they spent a lot of time in the lab capturing each of these individual aspects from, as they put it, more sustainable and upcycled plant materials and other natural products. What I have here is Atomo's limited edition launch pack that contains two ready to drink cold brews, their classic roast and their ultra smooth. So let's taste test them side by side with a traditional ready to drink cold brew. Straight off the bat, the color of the Atomo looks pretty spot on to coffee, but that's where the similarities seem to end. The aroma and flavor of both Atomo options lean heavily on chicory and cacao, which gives you a vague coffee-ish vibe, but not nearly as complex as real coffee. The classic version sports slightly more nuance with some dark cherry and a little roastiness, but still wouldn't fool even your average coffee drinker. Atomo brings coffee into a debate that has already been raging in both the dairy and the meat industries for some time. Can you name a product after a thing that isn't in the product? Personally, I can't bring myself to a point where I can call it coffee, and based on its present packaging, it may be just a tad misleading. Also, Atomo as a company has done some bridge burning in the coffee industry, like for example claiming that before Atomo, you couldn't get coffee not linked to deforestation. They also failed to address the elephant in the room, the effects of their planned industry disruption to the livelihood of millions of people who farm coffee to support themselves and their families. On the bright side, after tasting it, I can say it just isn't a real threat to their jobs, at least right now, and the scientists at Atomo should return to the lab. But I can't help but think about the $12 million in funding they've received and how much good that could have done at Origin or researching and developing a more weather-resistant breed of coffee varietal. And of course, the price. These eight 8-ounce eight cans will cost you $59.99 with shipping included. So subtracting $10 for that, you're still paying roughly $6.25 a can, which in specialty coffee isn't unheard of, but in the ready-to-drink cold brew market seems a little excessive. But with all that said, it's time to wrap this one up and pass the conversation on to you. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried Atomo? Are you interested in giving it a taste? Do you think it should be called coffee? Let me know your answers to those questions and drop any others you may have in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see y'all next week.
Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Follow my Instagram at Spermetheus for content throughout the week, my blog at Spermetheus.com, my coffee at LittleGiant.coffee, and as always, stay caffeinated. Pony boy.